Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Slime Rancher episode. Let's sleep until morning, because I don't really like playing this game too much when it's nighttime. I mean, it's okay, but games are always way better to play when you're playing in the daytime. You can actually see stuff and whatnot. So let's just jump into this. I think what I'm going to do this episode, which I think a lot of you have been waiting for, is... Ooh, before I do that, maybe I want to get those. I think I do want to actually get those. I have a ton of extra ones just chilling in here, which will go bad anyway. So get some of these. I think I got like 17 last time or something. But uh, either way, I want to actually explore the new area. Well, it's not new. I've seen it for about a couple episodes now. But the area in the back, back corner. Or the back, not corner, but the, the tippy top of the map. I want to explore that with the little blue like beam sticking out of it. I want to know what that is. So I'm definitely going to be going to that. And let's see. Oh, there's still one more on. There's a couple more on there. Ooh, I gotta get those. Mine. Mine. Three for safe measure, because I think there's... Oh, might as well four for safe measure. I think there's only two left, but you've never done one. Two. Three. There was three, so three was a good safe measure. Definitely take all these guys, because... Oh, how many were on that tree? That's a ton of them. Like, 20. Wow, 20. That is a lot. And I also got the Q-berry, which I really don't need that. And I missed. I hit the post. It didn't even make it inside. That's embarrassing. So let's put these in here, because I currently don't have any quantum uh, slimes yet. I had them at one point, but they escaped, so I don't have any right now. But I will eventually get some more. I'm going to put these in here. Maybe max it up to 100? I mean, I think that'll be good, so at least I'll have enough food right then and there to actually get some quantum uh, plorts and whatnot. But this episode, I want to go to the area, that new area. So let's do that. I really want to do that. And this chicken is just, like, dead center. Chilling there. This is like this is my favorite head head. Yeah, you, you go buddy. Go buddy go, 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 go. <laughs> That is so funny But uh, I also before I started the episode I did a lot of uh, stuff off of video I ended up uh, getting a lot more plorts. So pretty much every area with uh, I guess I should do this as well since I'm here uh, <laughs> I get so sidetracked in this game. It's crazy but like I was saying, I got mainly all the plorts from all the different areas. Uh, I didn't get any from this area, though, so these guys probably have some plorts, not too, too many. But uh, for the most part, they don't produce too, too many. I think, how many of these guys do they have? Six in there? Maybe I could put seven. Seven might be a happy medium, maybe. Get some of these pink plorts as well. Alright, just racking up on pink plorts, slowly but surely. And a really good way to stack up on plorts is you sleep till morning. You make sure they have enough food, sleep till morning. You can sleep till morning like twice in a row, probably, if you wanted to. I mean, uh, once it turns nighttime again. But uh, you just keep sleeping till morning. You make a lot more plorts that way because they still eat and they produce plorts at night. So uh, I wanted to make a couple more of these just so I have them. Make another one of that. And then two of these. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Whatever. I just need one more plort. It doesn't matter. Uh, oh, I also got a couple more mint mangoes that I guess were on the top, and they probably just fell. So let's put these bad boys in there, and I missed. <laughs> missed one of them. And let's go to the Ancient Ruins. Ta-da! Yeah, Ancient Ruins. Ooh, there's a yellow. Yes! Yellow Echo. Alright, oh, it's a gold, I mean gold, yes! I've only found, I've only ever found one of these golden ones. Now I have two, oh, there's a red one down here. It's going down. It's either I missed them, or I think uh, H has told me that they do spawn in. They just kind of like, they're like, uh, what do they call? He called them like forces of energy or something that can just like appear and whatnot. So I mean, pretty cool. Might as well explore, oh yeah, there's a red one. Yeah, they're just appearing. These weren't here last time, I don't think. And I missed that one. Or maybe I did. Oh, I, I definitely did. Where'd it go? It's up there. Come on, can I reach you? I can reach it. Nice. Getting some echoes right away. I love these things. They are so cool. Like, to put them around the ranch, it just makes the ranch look like a party. Like, I'm having a freaking party. It's awesome. So, I love that. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I guess... Yeah, see, this blue one wasn't here. Oh, there's even a golden one down there. Where? Can I reach you? I just can't reach it. I don't want to go down there. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to. I'm sucking this guy up instead. Got it. I mean, I can still go this way anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's an 
Elder Roostrew. That's the second one I've ever seen. Out of like the 30-something days I've actually played this game. 30-something uh, times, I should say. <laughs> just making my way, kind of just exploring this area, trying to see if I find any more red, or gold, or blue, or I think the other one's purple. What? Whee! Oh, I forgot. There's also the guy down here. I forgot about you. I have to get him. And also the boom as well. I should get them very soon. Maybe next episode. Probably next episode I'll do that. I was just jumped to my death. I want to find this new area though. Like, not find it, but look. Also, I have had something off a of video as well, which I think you guys will find very fascinating. Well, uh, yeah, I guess fascinating. That'd be the word for it. Okay, this is the area I haven't explored yet. If you guys come over here and look, at one point I was down there and I jumped over to this. I'm like, ooh, maybe there's like a hidden treasure pod. The treasure pod is right there. You see that purple thing right there? That's the treasure pod. It's seriously right there. Like, I thought it would be right there, but it wasn't. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen, but uh, either way, I guess it's kind of a blessing in disguise because I do have all my pockets, my inventory is kind of full right now, full of these echoes, which I really should actually put this way. I was going to put them in my uh, refinery, but I should probably put them here. Let's put the uh, some red ones like right here. It's kind of, oh, it's just so cool. Like it, it adds like an extra like, ah, like suspense kind of thing. Uh, maybe put some right here as well. I have two golden ones now. Put a golden one there. Hold the one there. Uh, and then I have just a blue one and a red one. I have no idea where to put the other. Oh, I'll put one over here. I'll put a blue one. This will be a perfect spot for this. You see how sidetracked I get in this game? Like, sometimes I don't even know how sidetracked I get. This is really sidetracked. Which is fine, though, because it makes the game that much more interesting. It gives you, like, tons of stuff to do and just, like, I, I guess, like, at the same time, I guess. I was going to say a little amount of time, but no, it's... You get a ton of stuff to do. Like, look how cool it looks with all these lights everywhere. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. Eventually, there will be too many. But uh, for now, it's, it's I like it. It's looking pretty good. But uh, I'll meet you guys back at the spot I actually just portaled from. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I think I actually just ended up finding a secret area. Because if you look, I, I was walking this way. I'm like, that thing's hollow right there. Like, I'm looking around. I'm always looking for treasure pods no matter where I go. And that's hollow right there underneath those stairs. I think there might be... There might just be a treasure pod under there. So I'm gonna go check that out and see if there is, because I'm really excited. I wanna know if there is. Unless maybe it's just, no, it's not hollow on this side. That's a good sign. That means it's just hollow on the one side. And there's, there, there, okay. What do you guys think's in there? What do you think? I think it's a treasure pod. Comment down below what do you think is inside. I'm gonna say it's a blue treasure pod. <gasps> what? There's nothing. I almost, oh my god, I would have guaranteed, I would have bet you guys $10. I would have bet you $100 there was going to be something in here. Luckily, I didn't bet you guys anything. But damn, I really thought something was going to be in here. Like, why would they make this empty cavity right here if there was nothing in there? Oh, I'm so sad now. No, I'm so sad. I really thought something would have been in there. Ah, it is what it is. Let's go this way. Okay, let's go this way. I know the treasure pod's down there, but it's purple. I don't have that uh, unlocked yet. So let's go in here. Oh, it's lag-free zone. Oh, got a box. Ooh. Nothing great. There's never anything great in those boxes anyway. Aha, here's a blue treasure pod. So at least there's one. <gasps> there's a door. There's a flipping door. And I have a key. Advanced Gordo Snare. It's an advanced one. A more advanced Gordo Snare that will, with less random results, bait it with food and wait. So that means if I put like a mint mango, it's gonna spawn in like a freaking honey Gordo. That's awesome. You guys want to open this door? Do you want to see what's behind door number? I don't even know what number this is. What is this, like number eight already or something? Like, ah, let's do it. Slime key. Let's do it. Oh, man. What is that? Whoa, is it like a shrine or something? Oh, that's that blue light. That's the blue light. What is it? Whoa. Whoa. 
Yeah, this is like a shrine, for sure. This was definitely worth the wait. Oh, it looks like it takes all phantom plorts. Or quantum, I keep wanting to call them phantom, I'm sorry. If I say phantom, I mean quantum. Looks like it takes all quantum plorts in those. Before we read that, the reason why I say that is because I've actually seen these before, but not with the quantum ones. I've seen it to actually open that ginormous door that we came to get into this ancient ruins. And let's read this. The ruins used to be some kind of warp station used by whoever created it to connect to one of the most distant corners of the far, far range. Be careful, Beatrix. Once you cross over, you'll be in truly untamed country. Though beautiful, the other side can be an unforgiving place. This has, to, this has to lead to the glass desert. The only reason I know there's a glass desert is because there's so many spoilers out there and it kind of spoiled it for me. People told me and I was like, ah, don't tell me. But I know about it because I've seen videos of the Slime Rancher and the glass desert and whatnot. This makes a freaking portal. This makes a portal. I knew it was a portal. It looks like a portal on the map. Oh, this was so worth the wait. This is cool. This is truly, truly cool. Awesome. Sadly, I can't get it now. So next, okay, what I need to do is obviously get some plorts from the quantum. I love that treasure pop is like right there from the quantum slimes. So let's go back up here because that was a very short journey. I thought it'd be a little longer. Okay, let's see. I want to see something quick. What did I want to see? I want to see the map. Okay, I don't know. I need to get some of these. Let's see. Where can I? I gotta feed you guys stuff. Do you eat anything? Uh, let's see what what their favorite is the uh, I believe their favorite is the lemon. Yeah, phase lemon. Yep, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I believe there's a phase lemon tree around here somewhere. So I will take some of these. Get me some phase lemon. At least I'm hoping there's a phase lemon tree. There was. Right here, but there's nothing on it. Ah, oh, oh wait, there's one little one. Will it work? It goes right through it. Oh, and it's in the water. Okay, it's, it's gone. I'm not seeing any down there. There's definitely a tree over there. That could be a phase lemon. I think it is. Another phase lemon tree, but there's nothing growing on it. Dang it. We are busting out. This is not good. Maybe if I can just feed them cute berries. Yeah, but I mean, I only get one plort though. That's the problem. I don't get multiple plorts. Oh, does he, oh, do they not eat meat? I guess not. They don't eat meat. They just eat fruit. Is nothing growing on it either. What is back in here? Oh, another treasure pot. Oh, more fruit right here. Nice fruit. And also a quantum slime, which is nice. Are you not hungry? Eat. Oh, he's in his weird little phase. That's not an actual one. It's, yeah, they disappear. Uh, yeah, so about that. Let's go around here. I'm not gonna feed you either. Whoa, he's split into two. That's still so cool. Whoa, 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 he just shot the floor. There it is. I don't even know how many I need. What do I need, like five or six or something? I don't know. I do need to feed that guy as well. I forgot about him. I need to feed him. Okay, let's look for more stuff. Here we go. Cuberry? No, pogo fruit. Still fruit. I haven't used the pogo fruit in a long time. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can see why. I'm hoping five is enough. I'm really, really hoping five is enough. Do you guys think five is enough? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna have to make my way back there anyway, so on the journey back, I guess, I might as well just pick up some more fruits if I can find. A lot of hen hens, ton of hen hens. I'll pick you guys up. Stony hens, which tabbies. I believe tabbies love it the best. So if I see a tabby quantum slime over here, that'll be perfect, which I just passed one or two, which is a tabby right there, but not a tabby, whatever, quantum. I want to call them phantoms. I don't know why. I think because they like mysteriously like just disappear. You know what? This will be worth it. 
Okay, you didn't eat it. Don't eat that, don't eat that. I want it. Just don't eat head. Isn't that your favorite? Oh, you little crap. Eat it. I think it's your favorite, right? Yes, it is. Give me those plorts. Yes, so I have six. Six should be fine. Good to go. Let's do this. I'm so ready for this. New area, here we come. I don't know if I'm gonna take the portal to the new area yet, because apparently H said it's very unforgiving, which I don't know if I want to, to be honest, go there. I don't know if I'm ready. So maybe next episode? Let's see, there are five of them, okay, good. It's one. Oh, it's powering it up. Ah, powering it up. Oh, this is so epic. Ah, it did it! Oh my god, this is so cool. So now, is that it? Is that the portal? I think it is. That is definitely the portal. That is cool. Oh, should we go there yet? I don't. I don't know if I if I want to go. I really got to think about this. Uh, especially at nighttime. I don't want to go at night. I think that's a bad idea. I think daytime would be a smarter idea. And also a new blueprint available: the butterscotch teleporter. Instead of two teleporters, I can use. Okay, it's just butterscotch color, I guess. It doesn't actually bring me butterscotch. A butterscotch warp depot, which I don't really use the warp depots too often. Nice. I guess I leveled up. Or hit day 16, not no. I don't know. Not that, for sure. That's the only two new things I got? That's stinky, come on. You guys can do better than that. I want new stuff, better stuff. I already have teleporters, I don't need new teleporters. But I go to the glass desert, which I think that where that teleporter is gonna bring me is this area to the right. This ginormous area. Right there, it's huge. It's huge. This area, I think that's a glass desert, it has to be, is as big as, seriously, like, almost the map. Like, this map right here. Ah, uh, maybe not, maybe not. But it's still huge. So, have I gotten the map everywhere so far? I think, yeah, I've got, I found the map in every location. Nice. On day 69. I can't wait to day, like, hit day 100. That's gonna be insanity. That's gonna be so cool to hit day 100. I'm definitely gonna make a special video on that, like, reach day 100 in Slime Rancher. Because that will be cool. And I'm out of stamina. This is my first quantum plort, I believe, that is going in this area. Yep, first quantum plort in my refinery. Woo! It's all cheery, clapping, yay, woo, wow. <laughs> yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. It's producing so much. So I'm definitely gonna leave that new area, which I think is the glass desert. I believe it is. I'm definitely gonna leave that for next episode because I want to wait until daytime. And also, I have a couple things I can run here for errands and whatnot. But I'm super excited to find out that new area, and I think you guys are too, just to see what it looks like. Ah, oh, the anticipation's killing me already. I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. Or maybe. Even before next episode, or maybe next episode won't be the new area. Maybe I'll leave it in like a cliffhanger. Maybe we'll go there after I do like the boom slime and stuff. That giant boom gordo, I still gotta do that. That I might do next episode. That, yes, that I'm probably gonna do next episode to be honest. Cause I really wanna see that hidden area it brings me to. That'll be cool. Cause it brings me to a hidden area and probably a treasure pot or something. I don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. He's going here. You guys are out of food. Oh no. Thankfully you guys have extra in there. But yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome. I can't wait. It's gonna be sick. So next episode, finding a new area. Episode after that, like already like like kind of trying to like plan my episodes of what I'm gonna do. Next episode after that, I'm probably gonna definitely maybe do the glass desert area if that's where it leads, that portal. And then after that, maybe do the uh, quantum gordo. Which maybe might give me a key, I don't know. And I didn't get any lava dust from that, that's stinky. No more lava dust. There we go. A lot of oil and a lot of spiral steam. And I 
else have these guys over this a ways to do, but I'll probably do that next episode. I'll keep this episode a little shorter than usual. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. And for some reason, I don't know why I do this. I always end my episodes like in this area. I usually do for the most part. And I thank you guys all for watching and I will definitely see you guys in the next one.